hello everyone how to solve this problem for the values of m if we have 64 square root plus m is equals to m and we solve this problem for all the values of m so here first we need to find all the roots of this equation and at the last we will be verify that which of the roots are solution and which of the roots are extraneous root further we solve this problem for two methods i hope so you like both of these two methods but if you have any other method in your mind so please don't hesitate to write this method into the comment section and now we move towards our first method and here the reason of solving this problem for first method is that if in your exam the question statement is that uh, you just find the roots of this equation or you just need to find the values of m if your statement is that you find the values of m then you must need to do the uh, to do the solution of this problem by first method and if the question statement is that you need to uh, determine the solution of this problem or is this equation has solution exist or not then you can uh, do directly over second method but both of these two methods are valid for solving this problem and now we move towards the first method in the first method you see here this is square root of 64 and we know about that a square root of 64 is equals to 8 plus m is equals to m and now here further in the next step for the values of m we need to take squaring on both of the sides so when we take squaring on both of the sides it will be written as 8 plus m whole square is equals to m square and now here in the next step we need to use here the nice algebraic formula you know about that if we have a plus b whole square is equals to a square plus two times of a b plus b square and you see here this value is over a and this value is over b so according to this formula we write the left hand side of the above equation as in this form and uh, we write it as this will becomes here 8 square plus 2 times of a b here our a is 8 and b is m plus b square so b is m square is equals to m square and now here in the next step we need more simplifications and it will be written as this is 8 square becomes 64 plus this is 2 times 8 becomes 16 times of m plus this is m square and we move this m to the left hand side and it will become minus m square and this whole equation is equals to 0 and now you see here this is the negative term and this is the positive term are cancelled out by each other and we get the remaining values are 64 plus 16 m is equals to 0 and in the next step here for the values of m we move the 64 to the right hand side and it will be written as 16 m is equals to minus 64 so here uh, for the values of m we need to remove the 16 from left hand side for this we divide both of the sides by 16 so when we divide both of the sides by 16 this will be written as in this form and now you see here the 16 is cancelled out by this 16 and we will get here m is equals to this is 16 times 16 ones are 16 and 16 fours are 64 and we will get here the value of m is equals to minus 4 so this is the only one value of m which we get here in this method and now here further in the next step we need to verify that is this value of m is satisfied our given question statement or is this value of m be the extraneous root so for verification of the roots we need to copy down given question statement here and the given question statement is square root of 64 plus m is equals to m this is our question statement and here uh, on both of the sides we substitute m is equals to minus 4 and when we put m equals to minus 4 it will be written as square root of 64 minus 4 is equals to this is minus 4 
and now here you see that square root of 64 becomes here 8 minus 4 is equals to minus 4 or not this is the our claim and this implies that 8 minus 4 becomes 4 is equals to minus 4 so you see here 4 is not equals to minus 4 or in other words we just say that it is not possible 4 is equals to minus 4 because in general these two values are not equal so if these two values are not equal this means that the value of m is equals to minus 4 is not satisfied our given question statement so if this is not satisfied we just write it here m equals to minus 4 be the extraneous root of the given equation okay so this is the extraneous root because it does not satisfy our given question statement and we finally conclude about the solution side of this question is that this question has no solution because we cannot get any value of m which is uh, satisfied our given question statement so this is the our final answer which we get here from first method and now here we again solve this problem for second method and in second method we need to copy down given question statement here the given question statement is square root of 64 plus m is equals to m and in this method uh, here we just directly move the value of m to the right hand side and we know about that the square root of 64 is 8 equals to m minus m because this is positive m when we move it into the right hand side it will becomes negative and we obtain here 8 is equals to 0 and again you see that 8 is not equals to 0 or in other words we say that it is not possible case and here you see that we cannot get any value of m which is satisfied our given question statement so we conclude about that this question has no solution so this is our final answer of this question and thank you so much for watching this video please subscribe to my channel for more exciting videos